Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this Boston Homestyle Meals or Boston Market Homestyle Meals. This is their new sides. This one is the Homestyle Mashed Potatoes. I'm assuming it'd be like what you would get in their restaurants. It is frozen. It's 15 ounces or 425 grams. We bought this at Kroger. It was $4.29, which isn't bad for a side dish for a, you know something you're gonna have with dinner or something, but we're gonna eat it for lunch. Um, so there's three servings in the container. Each serving is 150 calories. You can eat the whole thing for 440 calories, which isn't uh, really isn't that bad. Uh, let's see, you can do it in the oven. So if you're already doing something in the oven, like baking chicken or something like that, you could just do this in the oven with it if you want to. Of course, we don't do ovens, but you could if you want. Uh, microwave directions, we're gonna remove the tray from the carton, cut the film to vent, um, cook on high for four minutes, stir, recover, and cook for an additional um, two and a half to three minutes. I'll probably just do the two and a half. Um, we'll see, we'll see what it's like when I stir it. And then let it stand for one to two minutes once it's done. So basically, cut a vent, Four minutes, stir, recover, and then another two and a half to three minutes. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. Um, no pull tab, but that's okay. We'll just fight with it. Not much to look at. That's how deep it is. So I'm gonna get, actually I just take a fork and poke holes in it when it vents it. But anyway, I'll be back uh, when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and it uh, thickened up quite a bit. The first time when I started after the first four minutes, it was watery. I mean, it was like really, really, really runny. Um, with some of the edges starting to thicken up. So I really made sure I went around the edges and, and stirred in everything on the edges into the middle. Um, so that tells me if they're that watery at the beginning, these are probably made out of some kind of powder, if I had to guess, or some kind of instant potato kind of thing. I don't know. Because why would it be that, that watery and then thicken up this much um, after microwaving it, I don't know. They're very, very thick, almost like paste. But, um, you know, mashed potatoes do get that way. So I'm gonna let these cool off for just a minute, take them over the table, we'll give them a try together. Okay, so here they are. Um, I did look at the ingredients, first of all. The number one ingredient's water. The second ingredient is potato granules and flakes. So they did make them into a powder first, like an instant potato, and then mix water with them. Um, of course, the potato uh, granules and flakes are made out of potato primarily, but they have been dehydrated and reconstituted with water. So to, just to let you know, I was right. It is an instant potato. It's not a um, pure mashed potato like you would have at home, cooking the potatoes, mashing them up, cook and serving them. It doesn't like that. So anyway. The problem with instant potatoes or powder potatoes that you put water in, um, they do tend to get really like thick and pasty, especially if you cook them too long. They really, um, they really, really get thick. In other words, there's not enough moisture in there to, to keep them from getting really thick and pasty. These aren't too bad. I ended up doing two minutes and 45 seconds that second time. I probably could have got by with doing another two and a half, but uh, they were so watery at the halfway or that four minute mark. It was like, I was worried about them being uh, dry enough. So, so I did a little uh, 245. But it says you can do it up to three. So, you know, it's just going to depend on your microwave. Texture wise, these aren't bad. You definitely could tell they are um, like an instant potato because they have that more of a thick uh, pasty kind of texture. Um, kind of sticky. Definitely not, um, like I said, a, a homemade mashed potato. But I don't mind it. For a side dish, for a quick and easy side dish, because mashed potatoes take forever to make. You know, you gotta um, cut the potatoes and boil the potatoes and uh, mash them and then serve them. It, it just takes a really long time. So, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't mind this. Um, for instant potato. Flavor-wise, they are what you expect them to be. They're just potatoes. They're nothing, uh, they didn't put any seasoning in here that I can tell. Yeah, it's got water, the potato granules and flakes, milk solids, a natural butter flavor, which I don't really get a butter flavor from these. I mean, maybe maybe there's a little there, but it's not really like butter. Um, salt, and that's it. That's, I mean, all those things have other things going on, but that they didn't put any, like they didn't put peppers in, the pepper in there. They didn't put, um, they put a little salt in there, but I really can't taste the salt. And they didn't really put, um, a cream or anything in there to really make it creamy and buttery. Um, 
Yeah, you're missing out on that. It's really just comes up being potato. That being said, I like it for a side. If you're having it with something else, you could eat it for lunch for sure. What I would do for lunch is I would add some um, salt and pepper to it, maybe just a little bit of pepper to it to, to give it a little more seasoning. And you may want to consider adding a little actual butter to it or even sour cream. Sour cream tastes, it may sound crazy, but sour cream tastes really good in mashed potatoes. Don't put a lot, just a little bit. Mix it in really good and it adds a, a really nice creamy texture, uh, flavor and texture to it. Um, we used to do that at a restaurant I worked at. They were they used instant potatoes, but you would have never known it because they put some sour cream and a little bit of butter and salt and pepper in them and they were really, really good. Hmm. Overall, not bad. If I take it as a lunch, it's a little blah. Um, take it as a side where you can add things to it and jazz it up, it's a little bit better if you think about it that way. So. I'm gonna give them a three out of five. They're not bad at all. Um, not something I'd probably wanna buy again because I don't mind making mashed potatoes. They don't take that long. Uh, but I don't mind making homemade mashed potatoes. But if you're pressed for time, or if you don't wanna fool with that, or you're coming home from work and you need to make dinner, you know, this is a good way to make it a little shorter is uh, making these kind of mashed potatoes. And they're not bad. Uh, just know that you may wanna jazz them up a bit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.